The trucking companies call it the team driving concept. One person drives the semi while the other rests in the back of the cab. It's used to increase the time spent on the road and maximize profits. One San Antonio attorney claimed in a lawsuit that that practice contributed to a crash that left his client with permanent injuries. Case that investigates Dylan Collier explores the collision of circumstances. <laughs> Dashboard camera video shows the moment a semi truck was hit from behind by another 18 wheeler east of Little Rock. The February 17, 2021 crash on ice covered roads came in the middle of an Arctic winter blast that caused catastrophic cold in portions of the southern United States. Driver Israel Rodriguez said his rig began sliding before hitting the semi in front of him and wiping out a smaller truck pulling a trailer later testifying that his tractor trailer had snow chains for its tires, but they were not on when the crash happened. A truck driver is potentially operating an 80,000 pound missile. Attorney Sean Meckler represents the man whose semi was rear ended. He said his client suffered spinal injuries that will impact him the rest of his life. Six months after the crash, Meckler filed a lawsuit in Webb County against Rodriguez and the Laredo based trucking company he was driving for. The conglomerate hauls more than 300 freight trailers under the names DX Express and Directo Express. While gathering evidence for the negligence suit, Meckler said he uncovered troubling information about the company's driving habits, specifically how long and how often Rodriguez had been behind the wheel. In a tape deposition, Rodriguez said after pulling off to be inspected at mile marker 22 outside Laredo, he then drove nonstop to Little Rock before stopping to refuel around 750 miles in all during one of the worst winter storms in the history of the southern United States. The crash occurred a short time later after he got onto Interstate 40 toward Memphis. Rodriguez testified that he had encountered ice on the road the entire stretch between Dallas and Little Rock. We know he was probably driving in excess of 18 to 20 hours at the time of the wreck. Then there's this, Rodriguez's testimony about his grueling work schedule. He claimed he would drive for 10 hours, switch with his teammate to rest in the sleeper berth for 10 hours, and then move back to driving, repeating the cycle for two months before taking time off and returning to Mexico. A safety coordinator for the trucking company testified that having a team driver allows them to technically never stop. Quote, so basically, it's always out making money. Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration rules require tractor trailer drivers to take breaks every eight hours and to limit the number of hours they can be on the road per day and on consecutive days. And they were just switching off every 10 hours, every 10 hours, every 10 hours. And if you, you know, extrapolate that data, that's a violation of the hours of service rules. After the trucking firm settled the case earlier this year for a six-figure amount, admitting to no liability or wrongdoing by Rodriguez or the company, Meckler took the unusual step of reporting Directo and DX to federal authorities, writing in his complaint that he is scared for the safety of the motoring public. FMCSA officials informed Meckler the agency would not conduct a new probe because it investigated the company in June of last year. Quote, the occurrence of noncompliance referred to in your complaint has been previously identified and is being addressed appropriately. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration records show Directo Express has had nine hours of service violations the past two years. Its sister company, the larger DX Express, has had 94 hours of service violations during that same period. The company's owner did not respond to phone calls seeking comment for the story. The trucking firm's attorney told KSAT he would have challenged Rodriguez's deposition testimony had the case gone to trial, and he says no violations occurred. Quote, Directo Express does not expect or condone breaking hours of service requirements. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.